Yo, what's good, everybody? I'm Q the Coast Freakin', and this is my Pokemon Ruby Gym Leader Lock episode 15. I'm still sick from the last episode, but we will keep playing because I'm not sick enough to record. It's a very simple process, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's not like I can't sit here and play, you know what I mean? I do have kind of a headache, but, uh, hi, this is Pokemon. I want a sparrow. Do you have one? Will you trade for my Nikata? No, thanks, ma'am. And, uh, yeah, so I, you know, recording isn't that difficult of a thing, so I'm just gonna keep it going, uh, not strain myself too much. Maybe after this I'll, like, make some soup, down an entire bottle of NyQuil, see how that goes. People, Pokemon, the hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right or in the left? Huh. Uh, we'll go right. Ah, yes, correct! We shall try again. In which... Hand of my palm the coin. The right or left? Maybe she switches it? Damn. Okay, let's try this again. So right. Right. Probably left. Yeah, right, let's go. Here, take this and awaken the hidden power of your Pokemon. TM10. Which is usually hidden power. But let's see what it gets randomized to. TM10 is... War. I mean, okay, we won't be using that. Let's see what's on the TV. In search of trainers. Hi, today I'm visiting an area near Route 118. We're trying to spot some other coming to town in the field. Today we turn on a lesson to train Leader Q. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. He battled Leader Q before, but we can at least... We can attest that the trainer has most definitely improved him before. I knew we were onto something when we spotted this trainer. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is? Well, the fastest way is to battle. And so we began our investigation. That's how we ended up in battle with Leader Q. In a dominating performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Leader Q is losing strong. We asked the trainer for a second summation of the battle we shared. I lost confidence in myself as a result of our encounter. We were beaten before we could launch a single attack. A single attack? Oh, snivel. In spite of that, Leader Q's battles are worth seeing. I recommend confident trainers to challenge Leader Q. After our battle, we asked Leader Q for a second summary. The trainer replied, Could win. Okay, let's get out of here. That was cool. That actually made my headache a little worse. But you know what? We're just gonna keep traveling along these little houses and see what everybody has to say. Oh, it's called a Pekadex? That's really awesome. Let's see what this nerd has to say. Speaking of Pokedex, I remember something with this trainer sleeping when I was searching for rare stones. Oh boy, something, 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 something or another. He might be stronger. Okay. Well, let's just, uh, there's nothing else to do. I guess we should just challenge the gym, eh? Something in Siebel's in the way. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I remember this now. Sniff, oh, you will sing. Were you at a volcano or something? Yes, sir! That's where I was. There, go bird Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> By being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends. And that brings the world closer together. I think it's wonderful. Aw, that's cute. Well, let's just talk to her. I want to go to the Pokemon gym. Something, something about Route 20. Let's just visit all the houses real quick. Just in case. I don't know what anyone gives us anything. These guys look important. Oh, there's a, there's a... Okay, no. Don't need any of that. I press B, sir. What does she sell then? Same thing? Yep, okay. We don't need any of that. These guys probably just talk about it. Yep. And what about you, sir? Yep, okay. Nothing to see here. You know what? Let's just. One last house? Yeah, one last house. One last house. Pokemon, there's no need to make nature. Okay. So, yeah, regarding the. The invisible thing blocking our path. I, if I remember correctly, it is a Kecleon that's just messing with us. And we just gotta go talk to Steven. So technically we get two static encounters in Route 120 and, and the gym area. So, we might be able to get a water type out of those statics. Yo, if we get a Lombre, that's gonna be dope. I love Lombre. Uh, he's a part grass. So we are gonna switch into Korra. Yep, he is absorbed. As expected. And we're gonna Aeroblast this woman to Oblivion. And she's dead. And then a Don fan. Yo, Don fan's dope. Let us surf. Take care of this Don fan. And that was easy. We also get a. Whoops. We also get. Come on. We also get an encounter over here. So maybe we can get another water type. Oh, there's another invisible guy. <laughs> it's funny. Another invisible guy. Let's just. A Gengar. Yo, what up? Oh, he. Wait, what? Nine Shade. Okay. Uh, let's go for surf. Go for Surf again. Shadow Punch doesn't do much. Yeah, okay. Whew! That was a little scary. 
let's get out of here. And uh, we'll swap... We'll swap Lady Swole out for Mystery. Lady Swole could very well evolve in this episode, which would be dope. Is there any items over here? Oh, hold on. Let's get away from this Mary. There is. It's in this right here. A focus band. Okay. That could come in clutch. Uh, let's just battle this guy. He's got an Octillery. Uh, we're gonna Shadow Punch this Octillery. Oh, wow. Actually, wait. Bubble Beam hurts. This Octillery ain't joking around. We're gonna heal up. Super Potion. Octo. Yo, come on, game. I do not want to lose my Lady Swole. Alright, who's gonna eat this? No. Probably Aurora. Octazook. Alright, Sheer Cold, Aurora. Let's go. That's two for two. <laughs> Aurora is two for two with the Sheer Colds. That's what's up. Imagine she had no guard. I know she doesn't, but imagine. Uh, let's heal up just in case. I don't know if Steven wants to fight us over here or not, but just in case he does. We're gonna heal up. Alright, what up, brother? Hmm, little Q. Hi, it's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the visible obstacle... No, no. Rather than describing it, I should just show you. Well, that would be more fun. Are you Pokemon ready for battle? Yes. Show me your true power as a trainer. Use the Divine Scope on a visible Pokemon that completely visible. The starter Pokemon attacked. Alright, let's see if it's a water type. It is a water type. Alright, cool. It's a clam pearl. Clam pearl. Which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. A surf shouldn't do much to it. This thing use Whirlpool. Another surf. I want to go for a third surf, but it might take it down. So let's just go ahead and spam Pokeballs now. Got 26. And we caught it. Clam pearl's data was added to the Pokedex. Clam pearl's 30 shells. Not only good for protection, it is also used for clamping and catching prey. A fully grown clam pearl shell will be scored with nicks and scratches all over it. Give a nickname to the captured clam pearl. What's the name of SpongeBob's and Patrick's child that's also a clam? Ah, oh, what's the name? Where's my phone? There it is. Uh, we're, you know, the episode where they take care of a, a, a clam. And then he's all like, we're bad parents. SpongeBob and Patrick's kid. Wow, that was a, one of the that was one of the first recommended searches. Rockabye Bivol. Okay, what episode does Spongebob have a baby? Name. Spongebob Patrick Kid's name. Da -da -da. Come on, let me look this up quick. Patrick Star, Patrick and Gary's family. What was the name of it? I'm gonna guess it's just called a, a bivalve. Bye bivalve. No, there's no way they call it bivalve, but I guess we'll just call this thing bivalve. We probably won't end up using this thing, but uh, you know. We're just gonna name it that. I really want to know what it's name. I'll look it up after. And, uh, just be mad at myself that I didn't know it. It's probably something very simple as well. But it's whatever. I see. Your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows? There may be others concealed Pokemon. <laughs> Little Q, I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let me let's meet again sometime. Alright, he zoomed off. I think he flew away, actually. Alright, so with that, we can go back up here. We still haven't gotten our water type in this route. Ooh, a Snorlax. Just in case we can't run, I'm going to switch out in Aurora. Yo, he's Belladrum. Run! <laughs> oh, yikes. Alright, we'll battle these guys. A double battle. Okay, this should be easy. Uh, Let's Mudshot the Paris and then Needle Arm the Apom. All right, sweet. Uh, I want to double surf, but I know I can't because it might hurt everyone else. Okay, let's just Shadow Punch the Paris and let's just double in on the Paris. Wait, did I use Twister or Surf on Mystery? Oh, I used Twister. Okay. Okay, this is actually not. What was that? Uh, we're gonna switch Lady Swole out. I don't know what that was. Out into Aurora, and then Mystery will Surf. Oh, Surf doesn't, uh, doesn't affect everyone? I thought it did. Mystery's poisoned. Oh, no. Yeah, Surf does affect everyone. Okay, I'm not tweaking. 
This Apom just keeps tickling us. It's hilarious. Get out of here, Apom. I don't want your tickles. Alright. I do not want to take another interview. No. No thanks. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep searching here for a water type. That's a cool ass Umbreon. Oh, snap. Oh my god. I forgot Mystery was poisoned. Whew. That was close. Uh, let's use an antidote. Do we have one? No, we have berries though for sure. Petcha. Come on. I always check the tag on accident. I don't know why that's the first option. And then... Actually, let's heal up as well. Uh, Lady Swole. Alright. Hey, then there's a Quillfish. Alright, I'll take that. Uh, we can surf this Quillfish. We can probably surf again. Alright, and we can try to catch it. What would I name a Quillfish? Something generic, like... Stinger? Something like that. Oh, Mrs. Puff. But it's... It's a, it's a male. So that's unfortunate. So maybe Mr. Puff. Get out of here, Quillfish. Just get caught. Bro, I'm poisoned. Alright, we're gonna use a, uh, another Petra Berry. He keeps using Minimize, which doesn't affect the Pokeball. That's just, which is that, that's good. It's good that it doesn't affect the Pokeball. Come on, Quillfish. You're not even that strong. Get out of here, dude. Bro, am I really about to use... Alright, we're gonna switch. <laughs> like, am I really about to use all my Pokeballs on this Quillfish? Okay, you know what? Maybe he wants the Ultra Ball. We won't speed it up this time. Maybe he doesn't like speed up. Come on, Quillfish. Whoa, dude. Are you kidding me? He wants the Master Ball. I'm not giving it to him. We have 15 more chances. I might go 5 more chances, and then if we don't catch it, we don't catch it. And that's just we don't get a Quillfish, I guess. Ah, see? So you just gotta threaten him. <laughs> Quillfish sucks in water, inflating itself. This Pokemon uses the pressure of the water it swallows to shoot toxic quills. All at once from all over its body. It finds swimming somewhat challenging. Give a nickname to the capture Quillfish. Yes. We are going to call this Quillfish. Mr. Puff, of course. Alright. And that's Mr. Puff. We'll go check out his ability later. Uh, let's go fight this Kecleon. Hold on, let me heal up Mystery. Or not Mystery. Let me heal up uh, Lady Swole. Because I want to see what this item is. I wonder if they're all Clam Pearls. No, they're not all Clam Pearls. So that's good to know. Just going to Surf. And Surf again. Alright, and let's get this item. Master Ball. Thunderstone. Don't need that. Uh, what's going on in this? Is there any items over here? There's a cave over here. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold the phone. This is this a new encounter? Scorch Slab. This is a new encounter. TM22, okay. What's TM22? It's probably usually... I can't even think what it usually is. But it's Protect, which, eh. We probably won't ever need. Let's see if there's any Pokemon here. Um, it does not look like it. Alright, well, that's that. Let's just get out of here then. And now we can take on the gym. I don't know what these this gym's level is going to look like. The past two gyms have been like sub level 30s. So I don't know what. I honestly don't know what to expect, but we'll see what happens. Let's go heal up and then buy some more Pokeballs, and then we will go into the gym. Uh, let's buy some Great Balls. I will buy 15. And then some Ultra Balls. I'll buy 20. And then let's buy Hyper Potions just because we can. Let's go ahead and get. How many can I get? I'll just get 10 for now. And some antidotes. Alright. No, no, no. Let's see if we can sell anything that we don't need. Selling. Sell. Uh, let us go to our items. Tiny mushroom. 250, I'll take it. Uh, let's see. What else do we have that we probably don't need? Uh, we kind of need everything. Uh, Thunderstone. We can sell this on Thunderstone. Come on. Okay, you know what? I guess we're not going to sell the Thunderstone. I keep pressing B. and I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah. A little stuffy still. And I got a headache. But we are still recording episode 15. Because I really want to play this gym leader lock. I just can't wait till I win, man. 
it's gonna be so fulfilling. Like, I won as a water type gym leader. Let's see what this bad boy is. Oh, he just flees. Okay, cool. Whatever. All right, before we go into the gym, let us move our party around. We currently have Lady Swole up front, which isn't too bad. Mystery is 34, Aurora is 35. All right, we'll be fine, I think. This is usually a grass type gym, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's usually a flying type gym. Okay, I stand corrected. Okay, how do we get through this? Okay. Let us go fight these trainers. He's got a far fetched. We're just gonna surf that man. And use Fury Attack. Okay, that's cool. Alright, oh, we just spam right through that one. Renona, Tommy, personally, you can't beat me easily. Okay. Swimmer Jessica sent out a Typhlosion. I don't think you've heard. I am a water type gym leader. So I think I can beat you easily. Typhlosion is faster than me, but that's okay. He's got speed boost as well. Wow. That's actually pretty dope. Mid Coyage grew to level 27. Good stuff. And then let's just go this way. Alright, this is a little bit of a puzzle, but nothing we can't handle. Aha! Whoops, okay. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Ha, yeah! Let's go! <laughs> we smart! Let's -a go! Hello, sir. There's no need for Winona. Our gym leader deal with you. I'm plenty good enough for you. Uh, I don't know about that, uh, schoolboy Kate. Because you got a Gliger who's weak to my soif. And a Swablu who won't appreciate a Shadow Punch. It doesn't affect Ah as a normal type. That's right. I'm stupid. Uh, let us switch out into Aurora. I thought it was flying type already, but I... Oh, yeah, it's normal flying. No, it's not... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's normal flying and then it goes to dragon flying. It could be wrong. But Aurora Beam should... Yep, one shot. All right. And that's Schoolboy K. Winona's cute. Wait, 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 wait. Winona's cute. She's strong. She's the ultimate leader. Blush. <laughs> Alright, he's got a little crush on his boss. That's what's up. I, too, have had crushes on bosses before. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the Fortune Gym, I am not allowed to lose. Alright, he's got a Silcoon. That should be easy works. For my surfing lady swole, because I don't think Silcoon will attack us. I think all it knows is Harden. And it's a one shot, so we won't ever find out. And that's an Electric, which we are in with our ground type, so let's go and mudshot him. Alright, and his third is a Raikou, which would be scary if we didn't have Lady Swole. And your speed fell, and now we outspeed. Alright, let's go. The world is huge. Yada, yada, yada. Do we. We cannot. Okay, so we gotta go this way. And then. This way, then no. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. I see what we gotta do. We got to go like this. And then go like this. This is a pretty weird puzzle, but it's a puzzle nonetheless. And we're solving it. Alright, let's go. Is it that's. If that. Is that everybody? Just the gym leaders left? Yep, alright. Alright, Winona. Let's go. Let me heal up first. Uh, soda pop. And we're good. I'm Winona. I'm the leader of the Fortune Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However, grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Alright, Winona. Otherwise known as Breeder Florentino. Yo, Winona's sprite is dope, actually. Lady Swole is fighting against a nose pass, which we can just surf on. No problems here. What else you got, Winona? Nose pass was nothing. Hey, Midkoi grew to level 28. Soon we'll be able to use Midkoi in battle. She has four Pokemon. And a Chikorita. Chika! Alright, so that's cool. As long as it doesn't have Shadow Tag, we will go out in Akora. And it does not have Shadow Tag, so that's good. It's level 33, though. We're kind of underleveled. Poison Powder. We dodge those, because Kora is nimble. Kora is here. Kora is now. We're going to Air Blast and land. And hopefully one-shot this thick boy. And we do. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's see who's next. Everyone gets their XP. And Winona sends out a Larvitar, which could no rock type moves. But I think a Surf should do it. All right, it's level 32. Maybe I shouldn't have stayed in. All right, it's fine. Surf one shots. We're good. Cora comes in. Cora comes in clutch. 
And then... A Zapdos! Yikes! That is the worst thing I could've saw. Being a Korra. Let us go back out into Lady Swole. It's like the third Zapdos we faced. Thundershock doesn't affect me, sir. Alright, we could... Mud we can't much shot because it's part flying. We can surf, though. So let's go surf. Peck does... Not a lot. We're surfing. We are surfing, Lady Swole. It does about a fourth. Uh, let's see how much Shadow Punch does in comparison. She hasn't used any of her potions yet, so she's probably going to use them on the Zapdos. Oh, that does nothing. Okay. Actually, if we Shadow Punch again, she might not use her potion, and then we can surf on it. That's the play. I think that's the play. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Don't use your potion. Alright. This surf should kill. If my calculations are correct. Alright, let's go. No potions used today, Winona. That's what's up. Lady Swole is now level 33. I really want her to evolve. Alright. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your pro prowess, I represent- I present to you- I can't read. This gym badge. I cannot read. What's the badge called, ma'am? The Feather Badge. Add that to the layout. That's what's up. And what TM does she give us? Let's find out. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon at the level 70, 70, even those who seek through trades, will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this? This is a gift for me. TM40. Which is probably usually like Wing Attack or something like that. TM contains Aerial Ace. Nice. It's speed, no Pokemon should be able to avoid it. See, Aerial Ace is really good in itself, and I would like- I would love it if it got randomized back to Aerial Ace. But it got randomized to Screech, which we don't need. Alright, well, let's get out of this gym then. Yep, we beat it. Because we're bad. To the bone. And let's just go- whoops, not into this house. Let's go heal up. And I don't know where to go next now. Let's see. Let's look at our handy dandy Pokenav. And the Hoenn map. Okay, so do we need to just keep going to Route 120 in the Lily Cove City? It looks like it. Okay. Well, then we'll just do that. Actually, wait. I want to go check out Quillfish and Clan Pearl's abilities. And to see if they're holding any items. They could be holding a Master Ball. We never know, guys. We really never know. Alright, let's look at it. Clan Pearl, and they're not holding anything. But... Oh my god, this Clan Pearl has pure power. <laughs> and okay, and Mrs. Puff, Mr. Puff has Blaze, relaxed and a gentle nature. What are their movesets? Clamp, Clamp seems cool. Traps, okay. All right, well, not too bad, but nothing we're gonna add to the team. But power in the PC nonetheless. That's hilarious. A huge power Clamp Pearl. It's funny. Clamp Pearl evolves, doesn't it? Yeah, it evolves in a Huntail and Gorbis, respectively. And because it's female, I think it's gonna be Gorbis. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, we can cut this tree down. Does this give us an item over here? Maybe. A super repel. Okay. I mean, that's cool, I guess. That is cool, I guess. Not really gonna need it. We might, though. Uh, now, how do we get... Oh, I guess we just keep going along this bridge. Alright, it is raining here. It's gonna sneak past this guy. And let's fight him. We healed up, right? Oh, a Crobat. Crobat is power. Let's go ahead and surf. Wing attack does nothing. And surf again. Ah, oh, Lady Swole, come on. Break through. Break through. Yo, okay. Lady Swole is playing with fire here. Let's go use our first Hyper Potion on this man. On this woman. And, uh... Surf again. Come on, Lady Swole. Alright, let's go. Man. Oh, a Togepi. Surf on this woman. And that's that. So it's actually pretty dope that uh, this place is indefinitely raining because we're going to be super powered up because of that. So that's dope. Uh, let us fight her. She's got a Swalot, Giggity. We're going to mud shot this woman. And we miss. And use Amnesia, which is not good. And use Encore, which is fine. I wanted to use that anyways. So we're good. Uh, let's heal up in between battles. Because Lady Swole is hurting a bit. I really want Lady Swole to evolve. I might... I might just get Lady Swole to evolve and then end the episode off. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Let's fight this ninja. He has a Shuckle, which is no easy task. Let's go surfing. Oh, wow. That was easy. Never mind. I stand corrected. That is a Executute. <laughs> executute? <laughs> that is an Execute. We're going to go out in Korra and use Megahorn. Because that is four times effective. Yeah! 
And we get rid of it. And a slow bro. We are gonna use Mega Horn again. And one shot to slow bro. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Uh, this... I don't know if this is a new route, actually. I didn't check. But I don't see any grass anyways, so... Let's just... Shadow Punch this Poliwhirl. Shadow Punch him again. And again. Whoa, what the heck? Chick. Let's just surf him then. Hypnosis, we dodge those. Alright, we are playing with fire, staying in like that. But I really want her to evolve. I don't want her to die before she evolves, though. Alright, let's see. If we go down, there's grass, which might be a new route. I'll check the map if it is. Hey, we get some berries here, though. A spear berries. I don't know what they do. There's a bush over there. Is that, that bush looks weird. It's a weird bush. Is that uh, something we're supposed to... Clump of grass can be removed, but possible to go inside. Oh, it's a secret base thing. Okay. Well, cool. That's cool. Alright, now let's check the Pokenav. And we are on... No, this is still Route 120. Okay. So, not a new encounter. Which is alright. Let's just go ahead and fight these trainers then. Another Crobat. We're just gonna serve him. Shouldn't take long to get to level 36. I think Marsh Top evolves with level 36. We got a Shadow Punch for you, Slow King. Oh wow. Come on now. You lower my attack and then use a full restore? Get out of here. Midcoy's trying to learn bite? Yes, please. Uh we'll get with a we'll get rid. We'll get rid of quick attack. I was saying rid of and quick attack all at the same time. So a Corpheus! What up, brother? Uh let's go ahead and heal up. Real quick. I would love a Corefish so we can get a Crawdon. Oh! It knocked off my Mystic Water. What the heck, dude? How dare you take my juice? One shot in the rain. Let's go. Fitness training is in my routine. I always run with my Pokemon. Okay. Well, let's just keep going this way. Alright, no trainers over there. A Mary, I guess we'll much shot. Much shot missed. Alright. And let's go fight this trainer from behind. A Tauros. Nothing to be scared of. We can surf in the rain. Yikes, Horn Attack actually did a lot. You're never gonna live this. And a Duck Trio Trio. I'm actually gonna heal up. Barring any crazy, like, slash crits, you know. Use Magnitude 6. Does nothing. And this Surf should be able to one-shot it. And it does. Alright. And a Flygon. This Surf should... There's no P... Uh, okay. No PP left for Surf. I am going to switch out then. Into Mystery. And Surf. <laughs> and there's that. Alright, so we can't use Surf on Lady Swell anymore. A big mushroom, which we don't need, so we're just going to leave that there. I guess we could sell it, but we really don't need money. Another Quillfish, which we're going to mud shot, and not one shot, damn near though. I should have used a Shadow Punch instead of another one of those, but that's the life I chose. Can't go that way, we can go this way. What's going on here? Okay. Nope, can't go that way. Okay, that's fine. We'll go down here, and the rain is cleared, which is fine, I guess. There's a guy here. Uh, let's see what's going on here. No items. Anything going on here? Run into a Manectric. It's a Manectric, and those drizzle. So that's dope. Uh, we're going to Shadow Punch this Manectric to finish it off. Giggity. All right, we're almost at level 35. All right, so nothing over here. Let us go against this nerd. What up, nerd? Want to battle? He was very cautious on asking me that. Uh, this thing is going to be bulky. We're going to switch out into Aurora. And go for Aurora Beam. As one does. And let's go for Surf. And it does more. Alright, cool. And a Beautifly, which Aurora Beam should handle. And a Parasakta. Let's go, Aurora Beam. Are we asleep? Okay. Let's go back out in the Lady Swell. Nothing this guy is going to go for is going to kill us. Oh yeah, no PP left for that. Let's uh, take down. Alright, sweet. And that was not enough to level up. That's weird. A Freshwater. I guess we could use that. Uh, let's get rid of this Thunderstone. Pick up the Freshwater. And then let's just use the Freshwater straight away. Alright. 
This is still the same route, 120, I believe. Let's go up here. More berries. It's galore. There's a ninja here. This one will probably help us level up. Flareon. Oh yeah, we can't surf. Duh. Mud shot, one shots. And a golem. Just in case this golem wants to self this truck, I'm going on the helix. Use rock throw, okay. No one's gonna surf. Alright, good stuff. Do we have a rare candy? If we have a rare candy, I'm just gonna use it. I don't believe we do. I might have put it in the PC. Which is fine. Eh, uh, we're not gonna grab those berries. Just keep shadow punching this crowbat. Alright. We really need to uh, level up. Oh, it's raining over here again. There's so many trainers over here. Wow. Come on. What was invisible blocking my way? Jesus Christ. I guess this is just one guy here. <laughs> he looks pretty funny. His sprite is hilarious. Uh, let's shadow punch this bug. It's a two shot, which is fine. Uh, did, did that just say... I just got hurt a lot. Alright, we're gonna switch. Uh, this thing might no pursuit. Uh, we're gonna heal up first. Uh, with a soda pop. Okay, you know it's bite. Okay, maybe that won't no pursuit. We'll switch out into Aurora. Okay, never mind. We'll come back out. Let's just mud shot it then if it really wants to battle us that bad. It's hilarious. Aw, oh, man. Okay, now we're gonna switch out. Back into Aurora. Don't you worry me, you bastard. Come on! Okay, Helix is fine. We can surf this man. Alright. Helix is trying to learn Leer? No thanks. We already know too many moves. That's a Wobbuffet! Uh, what do we have for a Wobbuffet? Let us look at our summary. I guess... Yikes. Uh, Megahorn and Gyarados, I guess. But first, we're gonna go out... We're gonna go out into Mystery and spam smoke screens. That's a two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six. Okay. Uh, let's go for Twister. That does nothing. Let's go for Twister again. He's Mirror Coat and he missed. Okay. So now we're going to go out into Korra. Oh, wow, Midcore's level 32 now. Wow. And Megahorn. Hopefully this one shots. It does. Whew. Good stuff. Yo, that, that could have been, that could have been bad. <laughs> Alright, alone hiker was over here. Let's just get out of here. We fought that ninja already. What's in the grass? Just so maybe we can just hurry up and fight these sand shrews. Yo, that sand shrew does not want to take any damage from me. I really just want to level up my, what's it called? This chick is not. Okay, we got a guavary, cool. This chick is not a trainer. I believe there's more down here. Route 121. Hey, nice. Okay, we get a new encounter here too. Possibly. A shelter. We're gonna shadow punch this shelter. Into the shadow realm. Yo, Lady Souls been confused like five times this hope this playthrough. I mean five times this episode. Like what the heck, dude? We snap out of confusion. Let's take down. Pursuit. Let's take down again. I was thinking about switching out too, that's pretty funny. So many berries. Just get an encounter here. Kabutops is our encounter. Yo, I love Kabutops. Let's shadow punch. It probably doesn't do much. Nope. Does, oh, okay. That was probably a crit. All right. Let's throw some of these great balls. Yo, female Kabutops swam underwater to hunt for its prey in ancient times. The Pokemon was apparently evolved from being in a water dweller to living on land is evident from the beginnings of changing the skills and legs. Give a nickname to the captured Kabutops. Yes, I will. Uh... Female Kabutops. Lady something. Lady. Lady. Can we fit death? D E. Yeah, we can fit death. Let's do that. Lady death. Whoops. I like it. So hopefully, it has a good ability. I would. I wouldn't be opposed to adding Lady Death to the team. I'm just saying. All right. So that's that. Whew. Let us battle this trainer. Oh, there's Magma Grunts. There's no PP left for Shadow Punch either. Take down it is. Tail Glow? Get out of here. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta switch out. This thing has two Tail Glows up. Is this a wild Pokemon? This is a wild Pokemon. Can't escape. Okay, just, just spamming Moonlight. 
Yikes. Okay, we're gonna switch. Korra, come handle my lightweight. My god, that was so scary. Okay, we're actually gonna heal up Lady Swole now. Again. And with this trainer, we should be able to finish evolving it. Tyro. We're gonna take down. Alright, nice. And a ball toy, we are gonna take down. I guess like... <gasps> Oh, wait, never mind. I was gonna say I could have shadow punched, but I'm out of PP for that move. Never mind. All right, still not, still not a march time. You know what? I have. Oh crap! Never mind. I was gonna end off the episode, but I guess we're not. Okay, we move out to Mount Pyre. Actually, now I might. <laughs> that is a double battle. This is going to be a long episode. I was actually going to make this a very much shorter episode. Ooh, a Safari Zone. Okay. In the next episode, we are going to go handle the Mati Magma Grunts that just ran off. And probably get an encounter in the Safari Zone if we can. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Uh, I know my commentary is probably very lackluster with me being sick and all. And it probably isn't really good. Good. Probably isn't really, uh, what, like pleasant to hear, I suppose. But uh, thanks for watching if you did watch. Uh, question of the day. I don't have one. Uh, I didn't think about one. Uh, if you like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!